and gentlemen, I am Laura Goodwin and you are watching Laura X Annie. So I'm wearing a jumper today and you know what that means. It's time for John's character arc! Yay! I can't believe it's been nearly a month since I did the Sherlock one. It doesn't feel like it. So, let's get right into this. Okay, so in season one, John is completely and utterly broken. He is suicidal, um, as we see by the start of episode one. And also he feels unworthy and feels almost like a sidekick because he doesn't feel like he matches Sherlock's worth in the fact that he's just this ex-army captain who really isn't as important as Sherlock is. When in actual fact he is, but he isn't aware of this. His relationship with people um, his relationship with Greg, he sees him as law enforcement, they're not really pals yet to be honest. Mrs Hudson, he sees her as his landlady. Mycroft, John is not the biggest fan of Mycroft but he's not afraid of him and I think Mycroft can see that, that John's not afraid of him at all in any way, shape or form. It isn't until episode 3 of season 1 that we see that there seems to be an understanding between the, our main characters, John and Sherlock, as poolside in the great game, they're willing to die with each other over Moriarty. And I think the Sherlock relationship, I mean, the reason I am, you know, skipping over the Sherlocky relationship is because I'm going to talk about John Locke in December so I'm sort of kind of skipping over their relationship. On to season two! John is ten times stronger and he may be just a blogger but he is fundamental to Sherlock's work. He is a badass motherfucker, we see this especially in episode one and episode two, Scandal McGarvia and Hounds of the Baskerville. We see that he is, you know, he's this ex-army -cap captain and he's not afraid to let his soldier side show, especially now into the Basketball, which is episode two, when they go to the army base and he just basically radiates this, I used to be a soldier, all this sort of stuff and he radiates it and then you know that he's not going to take your shit because he's, he's Captain Watson not Dr. Watson. Him and Greg are now pals, that's kind of shown in Hounds of the Baskerville. Um, Mrs. Hudson, John has an admiration for her obviously and he doesn't see her as just his landlady anymore, he cares about her and is very concerned about her welfare, especially episode one. With Mycroft, still an annoyance basically and you know, it's more kind of like I don't even know how to describe their relationship, that's what I struggled with trying to describe Mycroft and John's relationship because it's more just kind of like, at points, I'll, if you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours, that sort of thing. In episode 3 is where we see just how much John cares for Sherlock as he watches him fall. John loses his best friend and there is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bit um, in episode 3 and it's just, it's just where John is sitting solitary in the chair with his bare feet and he's just sitting there and the the way the lighting's been done, the cinematography, it's so dark and it's just, your heart breaks. But I have a quote up here and it's actually from season two, episode one. And I had to mention it because when I said that John is a badass motherfucker, oh my God, when um, Sheila wants him to punch him, John comes out with the best quote out of the whole Sherlock series. I always hear punch me in the face when you're speaking. What's well, usually subtext? I adore that line more than anything in the world. I just had to mention it. Now on to season three. John is essentially so freaking done with Sherlock. He's angrier. He's more like Sherlock. You can see that in episode three at the start of his last vow when I can't remember the boy's name, but remember he kind of gets what is it like? He kind of gets um. He's a drug addict and his neighbour comes around and all that sort of stuff and John just sort of says, fuck this, I'm not a way in. And he sort of deduces that where he's going to be. John is also married with a child on the way and he is still trying to be as noble as, 
as ever, especially with Mary, as we all know Mary is an assassin and you know John is still like I may not know your name but is Mary Watson good enough for you and you're just like why are you doing this to yourself? So especially in the empty hearse we see that he still cares for Sherlock but it's also so done with him it's as if both Sherlock and John have swapped places so the way John showed his admiration in season one was sort of like in season one and season two you know is now Sherlock in season three like it's as if like you know Sherlock is now the caring friend and John is now the you know the machine it's it's as if the swaps completely places his last vow is where we see the immense force of badass mother hooker John Watson we saw a bit of it in season two but now in season three we see it to a whole new level especially especially in his last vow which may I say is probably the best Sherlock episode ever anyway his last vow shows just how much of a badass motherfucker John Watson is and how he will refuse to take no shit and especially when Mary reveals herself to be an assassin and they go back to Baker Street and she, you can see the literal fear in Sherlock's eyes as he's sitting down and it's not because he's been shot and he knows he's about to go into cardiac arrest it's because he sees just how pissed off calmly pissed off John is now on to what I think is going to happen in season 4. I think John is going to be a hands on dad. We are not denying, I would love to deny the fact that there's going to be no, I'd love to say there's going to be no baby in season 4 but we have seen the set lot of photos, we know there is going to be a baby in season 4. I think that he's going to be a hands on dad, he's going to save Sherlock in some way if we have seen the set lock photos, oh my freaking god I could cry and he's somehow going to get mid of Mary in some way, shape or form. They're not going to be close lovey-dovey, there's going to be something there. All in all, he is going to do everything in his power to protect his daughter, even if that means breaking Sherlock in the process or breaking up with Mary. That's what I think is going to happen and I think there's going to be a hell of a lot more badass motherfucker. Can I just make a point that Martin Freeman is looking very much on point in the set lock photos? I'm loving this. Look, I'm just... yeah. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed John's character arc. Join me next month where we take a look at Mary. Where, not gonna lie, there might be some Mary bashing. I'm not a fan of Mary, but I will try and look at it with an unbiased eye. I will see you on Thursday with Romeo and Juliet, Act 1, Scene 4 and 5. See you later. Bye.